What's up YouTube? T here. I'm gonna try and make the cheapest Game Boy Zero, okay? Without shipping. Well, it's not, we're not including shipping, but this costs nine, this costs five, this costs 15. We're gonna try and make the cheapest Game Boy Zero under 50 bucks. All this part here I got, the power boost will be a $2 power boost from AliExpress and everything else will be from AliExpress. And then a cheap, and I got an old Game Boy case, which will be free because it's old and it was, it was going to throw it away. So here I got, first thing I did, first mod I did today was I, there used to be four, it used to be lined up, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, you can see one, two, three, four, right here where my thumb is, white, yellow, black, and then red. By desold, I snipped it. I just snipped. It. I didn't even desolder it. I just snipped it and I soldered it right there, right on. The, it's on the pseudo mod forums. And shout out to Tinker, Tinker Boy X Y Z W W Tinker Boy X Y Z. Great site. He has a whole bunch of these PCBs. This PCB is special to me because it has an X as an R and an L button. A lot of PCBs you buy on eBay don't have the L and the R, which is gonna make your job a lot easier shipping was really fast he's, he's based in the philippines shipped really fast i think within like a week and he responded to my emails too great um pi zero and then this amazon so let's get to the soldering this point and see if i can get the screen working all right you guys so i got that soldered like i said right now i'm currently trying to uh, get the retro pi onto my sd card so when i do plug this in i'm able to test it out and see if it works um currently it's being flashed right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder. I'm going to follow this instructions though. Uh, but instead of putting the power here, I'm going to put the power in the second one because these are both five volts. Um, you can do it either way. The only reason why I'm doing that because, and then I can then plug this in accordingly. Run that schematic. But yeah. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to find out which one is the input one because either the white or the yellow could be the input one for this so i gotta test out both just gonna start with this machine i'll see you guys soon all right so we have screen power so the zeros plugged it this way Let's see and i use that one the yellow I'm not using um from there after the mod yeah it turned on no touch screen but yeah a little bit of static so I'm gonna wrap the wires a little bit as they recommended, but yeah, let's uh, it works. Time for the next thing. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is since I got the screen working with Raspberry, also I do have the Ritual Pi already in there as you guys saw. Um, in the test, I'm gonna now wire up the Tinker Boy. Thank you again to Tinker Boy X Y Z to the zero using the schematic that he has on his website. So I'm gonna get a good look at that so you guys can have that. And I'll also post up the other ones later. Or how about I do that right now? So what I used to hook up the screen was this. You guys wanna get a good look at that. And what I, modification I did to mine screen, the one I ordered off Amazon, was just like that. All right, yours might be different though. Okay, so well, first I'm gonna first I'm going to solder these points, all these, and then I'll solder it to that to make it easy. Catch you later. All right, you guys. So I hooked up the top row, soldered those. Notice that one L2 is not soldered. That's because you're supposed to. I'm gonna now solder these points to the zero, and just following the schematics here. And pro tip, you guys, these are things that I got for free because these are from old electronics I used to have. And I just broke them open, like this one, these, and that's what I'm using. I know some people on the internet could be haters and be like, you can't do that, they're not approved, blah, blah, blah. But hey, I'm trying to make the cheapest Game Boy Zero, okay? See you guys soon. I'm going to now solder these points, these, and yeah, let's get it done. All right, so I also was able to solder in these points following this second diagram that he has. Um, and so I have almost the functioning stuff now. Um, I might hold off on audio, let's see. But yeah, it works. Um, just gotta test this thing out. I forgot to show you guys, but what I did was 
like any other guide online, I drilled the holes and I was able to install everything that I did here and here. Just making sure it works. Yeah, let's, uh, I don't have my battery or my uh, power boost in yet, but I just want to make sure everything fits in. It looks nice. Everything works, which is great. So yeah, let's, uh, let's wait till everything comes in. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna now do the assembly of everything. And I found that if you put a little bit of glue in here, hot glue, give it a little bit more depth pressure, because I don't have one of those outlet things that costs money on eBay for three printed whatever. So I go, just put it in here. I put the screen, it's charging right now. Remember, I used the battery for an old phone, that's free, um, that's dangerous. So disclaimer, don't do it, but this is the internet, so don't do it though. Use a real battery, uh, or find a real battery in a cheap phone, whatnot, um, like an actual landline phones. So I put that there, and I like this setup right here where you press, put it at a diagonal versus this way. The, the reason why is because it helps line it up kind of. And what you have to do with the other pad right here is you actually have to cut it so that it fits. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Put it like that. And I did use the glue gun uh, to try to put it onto the, the board. That didn't work. It didn't work at all. So I'm going with this way. Put it there, put it there. I had to cut a little bit of a hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see that because it just wasn't fitting on the board. I don't know if it's the board or whatnot, but yeah, it just put that there. There's something wrong with the contacts. I don't know if the contacts, board, I've cleaned these, I've done every, I also scuffled the board a little bit. So I took this and I kind of did this and it helped a little bit. And it helped because it's kind of helped with the contact and just very lightly. And just scratches it so that a little bit more exposure. So now you guys want to see kind of like a. I'm gonna disconnect this while it's not charging anymore. All right, so quick update. I put a little bit of duct tape here and so that I can put the board uh, about right here because I want exposure to the USB port right here so that I can add more games. And I'm doing a crazy thing where I took out this screw right here so that I can put the board. Look at that, and it fits almost perfectly as if it was made for. It's kind of weird that it works out like this. Just like that, screw it down slightly, and then I'm gonna glue that in so that it stays put. Just put a copious amounts of glue right there, and I'm gonna drag it down so it stays put. But yeah, just like that. Just nice hot glue. What I'm gonna do is hold it down slightly so that it's I'm blowing it. And that will stay. And that's so that you can plug in a USB right here so that you can add more games to your zero. Um, yeah. And we'll catch you later. And I'm gonna go next to installing where we're gonna put in. Oh, and I, and during the commercial break, I soldered the power to a uh, little switch here. I got an AliExpress 
for I got a pack of 10 I think for about 50 cents so this is pretty cheap so I got a whole bunch of those and this is actually the last thing that arrived though because I had problems with it arriving on time and then I had to call them and they were gonna send me another one and just a little hassle of that so you can do this build very cheap but it's gonna take time for all the parts to come in that's the only thing you gotta worry about cool so push all this down a little bit my cable management's not that great and yeah let's install the power now you guys All right, so what you guys didn't get me to see me do was I took off the metal plate in the back of the Game Boy so that I could stick my uh, power thing in there. You don't have to take this off if you take off the metal thing. A lot of people online, this is my old one that I was using, and it uh, the this USB part came off because I was just torturing it a lot, sticking it in and out. And so you don't have to take the, solder this off, which takes time, and it takes some kung fu to take that off. So what I did was I just took off this metal plate and then you're able to stick it in. Give it a little let go. Let's glue the other side. Oh shit. Oops, excuse my language. Okay. Hot glue there. The hot glue is your friend. So for the battery though, joking aside, I'm going to in order to cover that, I was going to use an old Game Boy case uh, cartridge. And I have not, I'm not going to waste a Game Boy, but what I'm thinking is using a, a cartridge protector case, which I have a couple lying around. And those were, they came with uh, some Game Boy games that I bought. You know, I'm not going to waste a Game Boy. Why would you want to waste a Game Boy? So I won't be doing that. So, sorry that one. <laughs> and let's put this one in. So, get a little closer. Sorry, can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. Good. So, this goes here. Sorry for my cable management. I have none. This is my first Game Boy build. And uh, the PCB I'm using is Tinkerboy. He's been very helpful online uh, with his response on his Facebook page. Any questions I had, I, he really answered it well. Uh, good, I mean, answered it really good. Yeah. And um, he was really t in a timely manner. The only thing I can complain about is that the PCB connections were a little bit hard. Um, and maybe if he came out with like a send us like a paper template or something to, to for the the Game Boy that would've been nice, but yeah, that was a little bit of a problem. Uh, the connection points and it took me and I stopped this build for months for maybe a month because I was just so frustrated with how poorly the contacts were, and so maybe he should test those before or something. But I was able to sand them down, scuffle them up a little bit. I was talking to somebody else and online. And they really gave me some good help and advice. So, cool. I'm going to let these dry and we'll get back to the rest of the build. I'm going to just glue this in here. And that should be almost it. We should be able to finish everything up. Cool. And a little thing I, so right here I put in a little bit of a support slash pressing in so that when you press on the zero, when you're pressing in the USB here, sticking in your USB, it won't shift. So this kind of helps it so that the zero won't shift at all. And so a little bit of, this is actually a cubicle thingy that I took from somebody <laughs> lying around the house. So we'll be back soon. I'll soldering, let's just put this in right now. So that's on. Let me just, I'm gonna just put this in just like so. So a little bit of glue or a lot of glue in this area. Stick it in there like that. Glue, 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 glue. 
be really bad to take this thing apart. Because of all the glue. That's why those 3D parts are good. But, you know, they're selling them so... Ex they're so expensive online to buy a darn 3D part. Printed part. I ain't got the money for that. Okay, so that sticks well. That sticks good. So I just gonna glue that in there. And then one more on the side right here. I don't wanna put too much glue in this thing. I don't want this thing to be half glue. So cool. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna move to the second step of where to put the battery. I'm thinking I'm gonna chop this off and then I will be able to put the battery in. So stay tuned. All right, so what I did next was I used some pliers, tore out the battery bracket-ish area. So I put in my battery like so. And now I'm just gonna give it a little bit of glue so that it stays. Just a little bit, you don't need too much. I don't want to make this thing glue heavy also. Just to keep it in. Cool. Just like so. And we're almost done to close this thing up. I'm very excited. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let the glue dry and then we'll continue on. All right, you guys. So the last part of this is just to hook it up. So I realized that you can't screw anything in because all of those ports here have been removed. So you're going to have to glue that in. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I think I'm going to modify this in the future, but just I just want to close it up. Make sure all the wires are connected in. All right. L and R. And then this too, I'm going to put this on later, um, but this is the final. Let's, turn, give, let's give this a turn on. Just got to close it up. The power. Turn on. Power is on. As you can see the, with the blue light. Look at that. So this goes here, of course, right? Just like so. The Game Boy Zero. Oop, I did this wrong. That goes there, just like that. I'm probably gonna cut out the screen a little bit more. But yeah, it turns on, all the buttons work. Um, let me see if I can access the game quickly. Look at that. My first Game Boy, and like I said, this, is good. this Game Boy is under 50 bucks, right? So I got the cases for free. Um, the cases for free because it's from one of my old modification projects. And let's play some turtle. Let's see if I can go here. There we go. It's loading it up. Uh, the buttons and everything. So. The PCB, nine bucks from Tinker Boy, and it's a great one that has everything. You don't have to do additional soldering. It's the least soldering one. That's why I picked that one. Um, that's less than 20 bucks. Uh, the screen is about $18. The power thing is about $2 uh, from Gearbest. And then uh, what else? Uh, the buttons are, you know, from old projects. The little accessories things, like the extra buttons, the, the what else? The power switch. Um, the battery uh, was free because I got it from an old phone or you can also get one from an old landline phones too and uh, so this works and it's great and, and I, if you calculate everything it's like less than 50 bucks a Game Boy Zero in a case with all the parts no audio though so an audio might have been might have pushed between the boundaries of 50 to 60 bucks but you know, it takes a little bit more time, but for beginners and starters, I think this is great. This was a little bit expensive, though. This is about $3. I don't know why. I think it's because glass, but those, that's a little expensive. But here you guys go. My first Game Boy Zero build, reasonably priced, and including the Game Boy Zero, also 5 bucks. So all this less than 50 bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll, I hope to be posting, if you guys want more of this stuff, I'm going to try and get a better one in the future, so... It's gonna be, it's gonna be more modifications as I go, and I'm kind of trying to aim for, you know, cheap 
good, friendly, cheap. Because people are selling Game Boy Zeros on eBay for like 300, 400 bucks. I'm like, there's no way that that costs that much money. I'm like, I can design this thing a lot cheaper. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll ca I'll catch you next time. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys want to see or what can I improve on, or just tell me how you guys did your guys' build. And I'll see you guys next time.